I nearly died, but I still made it to the interview. All right, so we are here back again with another vlog, and this vlog isn't gonna be just another vlog. It, the title's probably, I nearly died or something, and in which the picture might be uh, my car on some grass near a roundabout. So let's talk about uh, what happened two, three hours ago. So I was my, on my way, you know, just picture yourself in the scene. You're on your way to an interview. Then all of a sudden, you're like around the corner from the interview, literally driving for 40 minutes. And then all of a sudden, you spin out. It was like kind of rain, mild rain, and did kind of start rain. The roads were definitely wet. And I came around this roundabout. No, nope, I was not speeding. And as I was like going around the roundabout to head straight, I went sideways. I drifted. I did. <laughs> so I basically, Tokyo drifted it. And basically, I avoided heading straight into this pole, which, as you might obviously, you'll see in the pictures. Once again, if not, I'll put them up again. Uh, you'll see that there is a pole, like, of course, where you, like, cross the road or whatever, cross after the roundabout. And what I did was, because obviously I was sideways, I counter-stayed away, basically, in order to obviously avoid heading right into that pole and where the, like, curbs were. And that resulted in me going towards the left, obviously, and I tried to, you know, quickly recover it. It was like, it was like an instant. If you've driven before, you just don't even think. Being like one year, it's nearly on the 20th, I think it's one year since I've driven. Now this car, I'll tell you this, you know, I've done everything and it's not lost traction or anything. I can definitely say that there was like some kind of oil or something. There was like trucks around that, around that area. I just didn't expect something like that to even occur. Like I've done so much. I've driven 1000 miles this month obviously with some circumstances going on and stuff i've had to drive that many times 1000 miles in under a month that's a ton that is a ton and overall i think on this car i think i've done 2500 just on this car so and it's only going to be 12 months since i've passed as well so that's incredible as soon as that happened i was on the grass i was like that's it i have definitely buckled my wheels the car is probably written up at this point stepped out i saw everything intact <laughs> surprisingly everything was intact i was like thank god and you know thank god that of course that i'm like all right and in which i'll show the kind of like damage that i'm aware of right now the wheel that i need to replace and that's it that that's it that's nothing for what just happened there definitely some oils on that road and stuff having an oily road and wet road as well is like literally being on ice so then after that happened i was literally like what two three minutes no not even that like two minutes away from where i was meant to go from an interview so i showed up to the interview i explained the situation why i was late i mean of course i'd kind of be late to that and they were like oh my god are you all right <laughs> you know just popping up to an interview and you know a few minutes ago you nearly died you thought you know since i'm already here i might as well even though uh i don't know if i'm gonna be probably stuck in this place because i don't know if my car's gonna turn back on or something but obviously it has a wheel has not exactly buckled bit slightly dented in which it's an easy fix to be honest for what you know occurred it's an easy fix all these miles i've driven and passing for a year actually not having any like problems and stuff this car is running so beautifully obviously it's only done uh, well, nearly 58k miles now. That's because obviously I've been driving it a lot and I've not had any issues at all. So it's it's amazing. It, I, actually, I look back at the pictures and it kind of doesn't even look like I even span off the road, but you can clearly see if you zoom in onto the pictures that there is like the tracks. There is like the actual tracks from which I popped up to the curb. And since I hopped up to the curb, I thought that's it. I've probably buckled the wheels. Just expected that to occur. I don't know, because I've seen many people that have like had them kind of problems and that I've had quite serious damage to the cars from spinning out like that. So I'm incredibly lucky. One, I'm fine, you know, thank God. And two, my car's okay. Three, I attended the interview while nearly dying on the way and or I guess it's a life lesson. Bad things happen to the best people, nicest and generous people ever in the world, you know? Unfortunate events just keep it, you know, you gotta always remain positive and you know stuff. I know it's gonna be kind of clickbait, like face clickbait, how I nearly died or whatever. I mean, I guess it's an opportunity for me to clickbait. Thank God once again, I'm not hurt. I hurt no one. No one even stopped. Like I was just there by myself, you know, just battling it out, so whatever. I'm incredibly lucky. I think I might need to go to my first car, my previous car, because I think, probably be bragging, but I think this car's too fast for me now. It's not too fast, but still. It is too lightweight and uh, a bit too, uh, could say too fast or something, but. But since this car does weigh like just under a ton and it's a 1.4, you could say it's considerably quickish. If you're wanting to learn to drive, it's the best thing you could ever do. And obviously having your driving license is basically like having a passport when you need it for business and just in life and work. This is quite 
a big life lesson and if i wasn't taught to drive how i was this matter would have been much 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 worse and of course ferraris lamborghinis everything you name of spin out the safest cars volvo's spin out i'd say that the ground was moist but this video would just get age restricted immediately tell me down below if you guys want more car vlogs and i'll link some car vlogs that i've done here my other videos around here and left and right like this video if you did enjoy me talking about this life story i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys have a legendary day and make sure to definitely stay safe our very thing in life and i'll see you guys next video peace <laughs>